Here with head coach Brian Morrison of Crescent Panthers. Coach, week one against Clorinda, 28-12 win here at home. Just tell me how you, your initial thoughts on that game. I was pleased uh, offensively. I thought we played a clean game as far as penalties. We weren't playing behind the sticks in the first half or the second half. We definitely need to clean some things up. Um, I know in the second quarter we, we weren't protecting the quarterback very well, but that's you know that's communication by the offensive line. Um, I thought the defense played in a, a really good football game. You know, against a really good running back at number 23 and number one at quarterback, um, you saw it. They get loose and, and they're gone. So I thought we corralled them for the majority of the game and uh, you know had a lot of three and outs. And the fill, fill position was outstanding. Talk about uh, talk about the defense. You know, Tatum Brown, such an explosive player for Clorinda. You saw he, he got loose once, but other than that, I mean, you guys really bottled them up. Uh, Max Chapman was great up front. Just talk about that defensive front a little more, and and you guys were able to get a lot of penetration tonight. Yeah, I mean, the emphasis of the entire week was pre preaching to the kids, and our kids play these guys in other sports: wrestling, basketball, baseball, track. They understand how gifted they are at the skill position. So I think our kids had ultimate respect for Clorinda and uh, you know, they perf they performed really well. Our kids fought hard for four quarters. I thought our conditioning played a role in the game too. So it was outstanding. I, I right. feel good where we're at. Talk about the offense coach. I mean, Kyle Strider with a fantastic game. I mean, on the feet, in the air, Brandon Briley had a great game. Brandon Hayes ran wild tonight. You guys were seemed to be clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you know, we, we knew coming off last year's uh, team that you know, we played a lot of sophomores, um, and, and this year those sophomores are juniors. They're, they're playing with confidence. I think we started 10 juniors on, on, on offense um, tonight and, and quite a few on defense. So um, a very special group of kids for us. Um, we still have to keep improving. There's no doubt we can't be satisfied with the week one win because we have some big games coming up non-district with Winterset next week. But it's a great start. you you, you got to be 1-0 with the RPI system. and. And I know the kids feel good about themselves right now, and we'll get them down to, you know, as far as what we need to work on ourselves individually and then uh, against Winterset next Monday. Talk about Brennan Hayes specifically. There were some runs there where, you know, I, I think I could count on one hand the amount of times he went down on, on first contact tonight. And just a really tough runner, and he, you know, had well over 200 yards rushing tonight. So just talk about his effort. Yeah, Brennan's a special player. Um, if you watched him last year as a sophomore, his older brother, a senior, they uh, went back and forth. Um, competition was was good to see against uh, the two brothers, but you know Brendan is a special player. He, I mean, he wants to do well. He runs hard. Um, we'll see some good running backs throughout the course of the season, but I think we've got a good one in, at Creston. So just talk about what this does for your confidence. I mean, you mentioned it a little bit earlier, but just as a team, you guys are one and zero. That's always how you want to start. You guys had a pretty solid record last year, narrowly missed the playoffs. There, you, there has to be some some pretty big confidence on on your sideline right now. Yeah, there is. Um, I think scrimmage in Carlisle last week helped a ton. Um, you know, we had to fix some things up front. Carlisle's, I think, a pretty good football team this year, but I, I think the confidence is there. But I think I think they're humble. I mean, they're, they're not going to go into a, a game thinking they're going to beat anybody. Um, they're going to play hard for four quarters, and, and every play is the next play, and we keep preaching it. So, All right, Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm here with Crescent running back Brennan Hayes. Brennan, you guys just beat Colinda 28-12 in the season opener here at home. You guys are 1-0. Just tell me your initial thoughts on that game. Uh, I thought we started, we started off pretty well, and then when after the first few drives, we started slowing down a little bit, but we picked it up second half, kept it going. I, all, all my running yards to the line, they blocked their asses off out there. It was a great game. Yeah, just talk about uh, talk about that offensive line. You had some big holes, but you also had some really tough runs. Yeah. I mean, you ran over a lot of guys. I told on, I said on the air, I could count on one hand how many times you went on, down on first contact. So just talk about that mentality you run with. I, I just run my ass off as hard as I can. I go out there. If I get hit, unless I, I'm not going down first hit unless you really, really put all your effort into it. Just I'm talk keep running my ass off no matter what. Just talk about that offense. I mean, you guys, you kind of seem to be clicking in the first half, some turnovers there early, but in the second half, you guys really just let loose. What, what were you guys seeing in the defense and what was uh, what was kind of the game plan coming in? Uh, coming in, we knew that they were gonna they were gonna be sending people a lot. We, we were working on it in practice. At, at the start, we were having some trouble, but eventually we got it done, getting those linebackers taken care of when they were blitzing. Their holes opened up and it just what? game went great. So just talk about now uh, the, the confidence you guys have. I mean, being 1-0 and is obviously the goal. You know, I, I feel like a lot of people weren't really talking about you guys coming into the season, but you come out here and you put a really good performance together. Just talk about the confidence you guys have after this game and going into the rest of the season. Yeah, well, uh, definitely a confidence booster, knowing that we came out here, had a great game, but we still have a lot of, lot of effort we can put in, a lot of places we can fix. Definitely do a lot better, but I think we had a good start.
All right, Brennan, thank you and congratulations. Yep, thank you, sir. I'm here with Creston quarterback Kyle Strider. Kyle, big win there, 28-12 over Clorinda here in week one. You guys are 1-0. Just talk to me about uh, the, your initial thoughts on that game. Uh, I thought we played really well for our first game. We left a lot of touchdowns out there, I think. We left probably three. But uh, for the first game, it wasn't too bad. We didn't have very many penalties, which was really good. We didn't play behind the sticks or anything like that. So it was really well. Just talk about uh, talk about those turnovers there in the first half. I mean, it felt like you guys were dominating the game, but the score didn't show it. Obviously, you turned it on in the second half and were able to put up points, but what's the mentality like when you guys are, you know you're moving the ball, but you just can't quite put points on the board? You know, Coach Morrison just says flush it next play, so that's what we did. We really just kept going, just tried to score. That's all we can do. This was a really good Clarenda team tonight, and, and you guys, you know, moved the ball up and down the field. Talk about, you know, the balance you guys had. You would, you would run the ball with Brennan and then throw the ball to, to Brandon Briley. It was just kind of, you know, a very versatile attack for you guys tonight. The way our offense works, it's, a, it's really helpful to be very versatile in passing and running and just making the right reads just helps a lot. Talk about your, your, you, uh, the plays you made on your legs were, were quite impressive, some of the spin moves there, but it seemed like you were running that read option to perfection. Just talk about how much you guys work on that and to be able to execute that in week one is pretty impressive. We worked on it every day, reading every single day for the majority of it on offense and stuff like that. So, yeah, we work on it all the time. Talk about that connection you have with Brandon Briley. You guys hit big on that touchdown in the first half and then a couple of huge passes there in the second half. Obviously, senior to senior there. So just talk about uh, the chemistry that you guys have. Junior to senior. but uh, Junior, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're good. But, uh, yeah, we've had the connection for the past two years now. It just seems like it's going really well on those play actions and stuff like that. Just got to watch out. He's a pretty good deep threat. So now just talk about, you know, you guys are one and oh. You're heading into winter set next week, but you know this is this is a big win for you guys here in week one. So just talk about uh, you know the confidence level coming in here and and being able to get that first win of the year. Big confidence level, but we're back to square one, right? It's almost Friday again. Just keep grinding it out. All right, thanks, Kyle. Congratulations. Thanks.